I used to feel numb whenever I would stand for long, especially during the services. But I want to thank God because last Friday, after the communion service, that numbness went and never felt it again. It is not for the calling the name of Jesus. Every stranger in anybody's body, every malfunctioning of any organ of your body, the same way this sister's case was settled, your case is hereby settled. Praise God, Church. Amen. I just want to thank God on Wednesday while we were singing Morning Glory. I came when I'm very strong, but as we were singing, I saw a funny creature get out of my body. Just immediately I regained back strength. I thank God for that. Testimony number two, I just want to thank God while we were praying here, someone returned back my destiny. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank God for one of the school of deliverance. In the school of deliverance, we learned about uh, dealing with kids. And on the at the first, the Lord opened the door and I was in the land of Mujumbura, uh, Burundi. And I possessed the gates using salt. I want to thank God that preserved my life. I want to thank God for the journey mercies. I want to thank God for the provision. But that's one thing that I want to thank God for favor. We were in a particular area whereby the, uh, the police and the, the, the military told all those who were in the taxi to get out. But among all those that they checked, I kept saying, oh Lord, blind their eyes. May they not touch me. May they not touch me. <laughs> they checked everybody. I want to thank God I was not touched. I thank God for God. Praise God, Church. The flame is my name. I'm here to shame the devil. This morning, my cup would not start, but I thank God for the power in this month of June. I and my little boy prayed and I started. I give God glory. Hallelujah. Secondly, I want to thank God I received my deliverance. I came my purpose. I was yearning for the touch of God and Jehovah did not disappoint. He touched me by the administration of Papa. Give God glory. So God be the glory. She said her vehicle could not start. They have to pray for it to start. Anything that is not starting in your destiny, by the power that Jehovah is releasing this day, they, are, they shall hereby be restarted in the name of Jesus. Destiny that has not been starting, every career that is crawling, that business that is not starting, by the power of the most high, they are hereby restarted. That yeah. MM is sitting. And for my family, you know, seeing all of us there, I remember the song that he blesses us, our marriages, and makes our children around our table. I want to thank him also for enabling me to do all the things that I need to do. Sometimes it gets hectic, but he's my strength. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Church. My name is Pamela. I just want to thank God for coming today. I had a pain in the chest. And then uh, when Pastor Ben said that there is someone here that pain in the chest and the pain is gone, I started laughing in the spirit and the pain from Are you sure the pain is gone? Yes. Hit your hand on that chest. You don't feel any pain? You don't feel any pain? As many of you that came here with any manner of pain, pain in the head, pain in the neck, pain on the chest, pain in the heart, pain in the belly, pain on your, on your waist, pain on your feet. The same way these sisters pay, check out. I command your pain to check out by fire. You cannot be saying that when you are sitting down. I command every pain represented you are going to check out. It will not come back in the name of Jesus. Back to send another to return again in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Church. Amen. My name is Rosalie. I would like to thank God first of all for bringing me back from wherever I've been. I would like to thank God for His provision in every area of my life. I left my family back home in Uganda, but God took care of them. And while I was there in that hostile environment, God still protected me and the seeds of prayer that I've sown, I'm sure, are going to produce results. And finally, I'd like to thank God because before I left my place of work, my salary was paid up front up to July. 
I'm sure many people are waiting for their salaries even on May, but I thank God that he has provided for me all the way. Hallelujah. We've got your blessings up front. Every pending blessings here, yeah. I demand them to be paid up front. Yes. 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 Praise God, Church. Praise God, Church. I want to I want to thank God for divine provision. He has provided for me school fees for the whole year. I also want to thank God. I also want to thank God for the youth deliverance session. Um, when they were praying for us, I thank God that strongholds were broken and are still breaking. I saw my dad in a in a deep pit and chums. Okay, someone trying to kill him with a witchcraft that cause. But I thank God that I saw my father's life counting down from out of the world back into back into the Hallelujah. I thank God that my father is going to come back and become a born again. Amen. Praise God Church. I'm Ann. I'm here to testify of the Lord's faithfulness. Early this year, our dad was diagnosed with a tumor in his head, and it was below the brain. And for all the scans we did, the doctors said that um, it was between the two veins to the head, that's the artery and the vein, and it was a very complex surgery, and no one was really willing to do it for us. And it was very devastating whenever we visited them, but we brought the case before the Lord, kept praying, and we finally got a hospital in China to do to work on him. And uh, when they did the first scans, they realized that the tumor was not out, that the two vessels were not in danger. So I know that God had moved it, and his life was no longer in danger. So they did the operation. He spent a week like in coma, but I want to praise the Lord and thank him that he's out of ICU. He's regaining. <laughs> I want to thank God for his faithfulness. I thank God for all he has done for me, especially he has protected me. Only night, things broke into my house with hangers. I was with my kid brother. He ran to the bedroom to, walk, to wake me up, the things that entered. Uh, what I did was pray, pray so that God would sustain their lives, which he did. They took whatever they could, but her life was sustained by the old Thank you, Thank you God, Church. My name is Samuel. I'm here to glorify God uh, for opening more international doors for me. In the space of two weeks, he has taken me to two countries and I've had journey masses and favor in those countries. Thank you, God. Get that money, but if I would go and get that money, 
push for the old bag. So I go, go ahead and protect the bag that has my money. I told him I only have 25,000. He said, give me 20, leave the 5,000 as your balance. He said, this morning I'm going to take it to church for God has used this money to speak over my life. He took the 20, only the 20,000, said I'm not taking your DVDs here, pick your phone, it's here, and he left the Thank God for your protection. I'm here to celebrate the power of my life. I answered my sick request at the beginning of this year. My salary had just saved positively. My 14 year got saved. Now, this week on Thursday, I was driving back to office to work. And I knocked about the border. But prior to that, like 20 minutes before, I felt some power that came into my heart and I didn't feel that I was really alive. I felt dead. And I start, something came and just gave me some prayer points I've never prayed before. I started praying, Martha, Martha, wherever you are, come alive and come back to yourself in the name of Jesus. I said like seven times and then I felt I started being happy. When I was branching now to get to office near like 100 meters from the office, I knocked about the border with a passenger, and the passenger flew up and fell down. My vehicle was all surrounded with the border borders, and a policeman was there. I was I was arguing between going to the police and the hospital. I just defied them. I drove to the hospital. When I reached there, my eyes opened that I knocked my fellow staff, and the staff was taking the mom for a workshop. And then the staff didn't know I was the one and say, oh, madam, you are the one. We are not going to the police. I'm so sorry this has happened. I did go that glory. I saved three lives, myself and the two people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody stand up. Stand up. Uh, Martha, Martha, come. Martha, Martha, come. Martha, Martha, come. Martha, Martha, come. That every orchestration of sudden that will take away her life be arrested right now. We need to pray for her. We need to pray for her. Rika, kaka, kipa, rika, kokoriba. Mata, mata, you will not be wasted before your time. Mata, mata, every agenda of premature death over your life is thereby arrested. In the name of Jesus, I hereby decree that you shall not die, but live to declare the works of God. In Jesus. Then we have prayed. Amen. Every one of you that have prayed for matter, you yourself shall not be wasted. Amen. Every trap of untimely death waiting to catch you shall catch the owner. Amen. Baby, shall be loud as the man. Thank you, Lord. I need to support this marriage. I'm thankful for my life. I'm thankful for the school year that I finished. I'm thankful for it was very stressful. Over four people died in the space of a month while I was saved. I'm thankful that in April was my birthday, I had another year to my life. And I'm thankful for his protection over my family in general. In Jesus. Everybody stand up. Stand up. Let me need to stand up for these testimonies. If you celebrate what God has done in another person, he will do likewise in your life. Begin to thank God for his testimonies. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Give the money glory. We give you glory.